Hi everyone. Today, I want to share with you my new watch, the Martinero Bayshore. It's my first Kickstarter purchase, my first micro brand, and currently my one and only dive watch. I've been searching, waiting for some time now, a dive watch with a design that fits my personal style and at a price that doesn't hurt my wallet that much at least. Here comes Martinero with their Kickstarter campaign for this Bayshore, which had an early bird pre-order price of $279. Post Kickstarter, the price is now $395. I've been following Martinero for quite some time and I've been a fan of their refreshing designs and playful use of colors. When they launched this Kickstarter, I knew right away I should jump on this. The campaign was launched in April 2020. It was delivered sometime in August, but I didn't get it until November because of a mix-up with my brother. But thankfully, it's safe here with me. The bay short comes in several colors, but I chose this black one with a dash of aqua blue. The case and the bracelet are all brushed 316L stainless steel. It has a sign buckle and a milled clasp. It comes in sapphire crystal and the dial is semi-glossy black with a layout that looks uncluttered. People often complain about date wheels not matching the dial color, but to me, this one works because the 9 o'clock hour marker is white, which makes the dial symmetrical. The case diameter measures in at 39 millimeters, lug to lug 46 millimeters, case thickness of 13 millimeters, which sits quite tall, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. The bracelet dramatically tapers from 20 millimeters to 16 millimeters. The 120 click unidirectional bezel has an acrylic insert, which could scratch easily, but if it happens, I hope Poly Watch can fix it. When rotating the bezel, the sound is crisp. There's minimal back play. It's my first dive watch with a clicking bezel, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But for me, there's nothing to complain about. It has 200 meters of water resistance, and it also has a screw down crown. Inside, it has the Seiko NH35 movement, a popular Japanese automatic movement often used by micro brands at this price point. It has a date complication, and it hacks too. Here's a loom shot. The loom on the hour markers, hands, and the second hand tip is impressive, but the loom on the bezel is very weak. I haven't adjusted the bracelet yet, but here's a wrist shot. I'm waiting for the watch repair tools my friend is sending over for Christmas so I can resize the bracelet. And there you have it. I can't wait to take it out. This is going to be my future beach vacation watch. I'm really hoping things get better soon. Let me know what you think of this Martinero Bayshore. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll visit my channel again in the future. Bye for now.